my last book that came out is called Classic Computer Science Problems in Python. And it's part of a series, the Classic Computer Science Problems series that started in 2018 with Classic Computer Science Problems in Swift. And what we've been doing is we've been porting the book to different programming languages to bring it to new communities. So we started with the Swift book um, and the Swift book, you know, it was mildly successful. We came out with the Python book last year and it's just been a runaway success. It's awesome. sold many copies and it's been translated into eight different human languages. It's just been <sighs> really, really fantastic success for, for me and for the publisher. Um, and it basically, what it does is it conveys computer science ideas in a tutorial like code centric fashion. So we have a chapter, for example, on neural networks, where you build a neural network from scratch using no external libraries, using as little theory as we can. We have to, of course, we have to have enough theory that you can actually build it. Um, and we show you step by step how absolutely from scratch uh, you can build up a simple neural network. But we have chapters like that on clustering. We have chapters like that on search algorithms, on graph algorithms. It's, it's a really broad survey of a lot of different computer science topics. And it's aimed at really three different audiences. One is self-taught programmers, so programmers who don't have a formal computer science education, but who want to know at least the beginning of these computer science topics. It's not an in-depth book. It's not a, like a textbook. It's not going to give you every piece of knowledge to be an expert in any of these domains. It's just going to give you enough of a taste so that you know what other people are talking about and you know how these libraries work behind the scenes by building up a simple version of them yourself. Um, so that's one of the big audiences. Another audience is, of course, people who are in computer science programs who just want maybe a friendlier introduction to some of these topics. And then the last audience is actually longtime software developers who are refreshing on these topics for interviews. So, you know, a lot of interviews today are very algorithmic. You go up on a whiteboard. Um, this book is a good refresher for people getting ready for those interviews. Uh, and so now we're coming out with another one, Classic Computer Science Problems in Java. And what we found with the Swift book is that even though the book got great reviews and it was, um, you know, I think a, a great book, it was too small of a language audience for this niche of a topic. So, you know, we sold a couple thousand copies, but then we went to Python and it just exploded. And so we want to bring it to another really big language audience. So bringing it to Java, uh, you know, we're, we're pretty excited about That's it. That's awesome. And so I don't know, in the future, we might keep bringing it to more languages. I've kind of um, used up all the languages now that I have a lot of professional and teaching experience in now that I've done Swift, Python and Java. So maybe somebody else will need to be my co-author on the one after the Java book. But um, but yeah, we're 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 really having a great run with with these first few books in the series, and I think that um, if people are in one of those three categories and they feel like they want a gentler introduction before they dive into one of these big textbooks, and the classic textbooks in this space are Introduction to Algorithms by CLRS or Algorithms by Sedgwick and Wayne. Um, those are really like the two big classic textbooks that are in most college classrooms. Those can be a little intimidating. They're like, you know, they're, they're like a 700 page oh boy. You know, um, <laughs> reference level material, math heavy introductions. And this book tries to be as gentle and code centric. Mm -hmm. And I'm not again, I'm not going to say we don't have theory in it. Of course, we, we have to have theory to teach these topics, but we try to keep it as approachable as possible. Um, and we've we've seen that that's what people have really appreciated about them. They they felt like, okay, you know, you didn't tell me every detail, but you told me enough to see if I'm interested in this topic and want to learn more. And then if they want to learn more, they can, they can go to the textbooks. Thank you so much for listening to this clip of the Data Talk podcast. To check out the full show or see the full catalog of previous episodes, go to experian.com slash datatalk.